Hi Taurus, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for mid-November. This is um, from now until whenever, the end of November, okay? Mid-November reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I decided to use the Vice Versa deck for your reading. I um, have cut the deck like I always do when I get the Vice Versa deck. I always cut it and we got the Three of Swords on top which is not a pretty picture, right? It never is when it's the Three of Swords. There's been some suffering. There's been some pain. The swords have actually penetrated, okay? They're, they're, they've, they're out. They're, you know, they've, somebody has been cut really badly, okay? There's, there's been a lot of pain here, but it looks like somebody is, is coming to take the swords out. Somebody is coming to take the swords out. They're, he even took off some of his armor. He took off his, his uh, what is that thing called? Shield, his face, his, his face shield, you know? He's ready to face something, okay? He's, somebody is coming to get the swords, get to... take back and you know once once that pain has already happened you can't take it back you can't take it back this person may be you know softening up a little bit but you know the pain has already it's already happened right but there's still there's still some sort of growth here even through the storm okay there's still some sort of something still alive This guy is facing the rain, he's facing the storm, he's facing the darkness. So it looks as though somebody is softening up and, and taking the swords out. Now this could even be you because this person has been wearing a, a suit of armor, a suit of protection, but some of it's coming off. And it feels like, I mean, somebody, whether it's you or the person that did this to you, somebody is letting their guard down a little bit, you know? I'm going to take, uh, the swords are coming out. I'm coming to take the swords out. Or you are taking the swords out. The swords are being taken out. Maybe you're letting down your guard a little bit. That's what it looks like to me. Taurus, Taurus has been through a lot of pain, right? That hurt. Something hurt. When those swords go right through, there is pain. And there has been some pain. Sharp. Oh, look at that. There you are. There you are. Standing strong right in your element, aren't you? Grounded. Practical. Wise. You've grown, right? Oh my goodness. You have a lot of wisdom. You've gained a lot of wisdom through this pain. It looks like you are ready to open up again because it's like now, look at, I mean, she's very content. I've gotten back to my place of ease. So yeah, somebody has... You know, if it was reversed, okay, if it was reversed like this, she's turning her back. She's she's going within. It's, no, I'm, I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable. So I think that you, Taurus, is feel, are feeling very comfortable and secure with yourself. And it looks like you're ready for a new opportunity. And you have an opportunity to offer. It's like now you you have, you're ready to, you have something to offer. Now you're ready. You're ready. Your back is no longer turned. Okay. You're ready for something. Let's see what that is. Ooh, look at that. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. It really is. Oh, oh. Look at what just slipped. We're going to put it up there, but I just wanted you to see that it slipped.
We're gonna get the rest of the cards before I keep talking. But well, you know how that goes. I can't I can't promise you anything. Yes, yeah, somebody is, is moving in your direction very quickly. And it's because you've stood your ground. It is you've taken on these energies. Both of them. It's like you have found you you've taken back your power, Taurus. You are taking on the energy of the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. Imagine that. Imagine that. And now there's a new opportunity for love. There's a choice. It's being brought to you from above mid-November. And this right here, again, is your perfect match. This is somebody that is going to love you for who you are. They're going to love the skin that you're in. Look at this. Look at this. We have the opposition and the opposition. Okay? That's amazing right here. We have two people that are opposites. Okay? So you could say that one is skinny and one is big. One is dark, one is light. You know, they're complete opposites, whatever the case is. You're, this is somebody that doesn't look like you, but it's a perfect match. Okay? So we do have somebody that is probably headed in your direction very quickly, brought to you from above, and it's because you found your power to look at this hurt from a new perspective and let your guard down and let somebody in. It's like you have gained some sort of wisdom through suffering. You're looking at things differently. You're feeling more optimistic than you have in a long time. And now it's like, I'm ready. I'm ready. I have an offer. I'm ready to extend an offer. So in the, it's like the universe sees that you're ready. You're back in your element. And now somebody is headed in very quickly. And it's because you've mastered your emotions. We have Cancer, Gemini, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So... You are going to have to make a choice whether you are ready, really, really, really ready for this or not. Are you really, really ready for this? Because it looks like you have an opportunity for love. And you know my readings are focused on love, right? If you don't, you should know that by now. Um, there's been some unhappiness. There has been some happiness, but true suffering brings growth. And here we have the Knight of Cups. We have we have somebody that has been thinking of at night, especially at nighttime. Somebody has been trying to come up with a plan, or they've been making small moves, or thinking about making you an offer of love. But they're protected. They've got armor on too. So whoever it is that is coming in is still, you know, a little weary about love. They may be thinking negatively because the sun card is, you know, this horse looks a little weary, you know, and she's trying to comfort the horse. This is the sun card. It is going to lead to happiness, but there's some negative thinking here. And we have this person, this man that is confused, okay? He's trying to decide if this is the right decision. He's afraid. He's afraid of you. He may be intimidated. He may be intimidated, um by you so he's afraid to come forward so keep that in mind um but there is an opportunity for a lot of happiness here and it's because you have decided to be happy on your own right mm, look at this both angels beautiful uh-oh The tower on the bottom of the deck or the top of the deck, however you want to look at it, go either way, right? Anyway, there's there's a blessing in disguise here. Something has fallen apart, something has come crashing down, and it's in you are being given of some sort of gift from above because of this crash. And it looks like somebody may be coming in to sweep you off your feet. Maybe, and you know, they're a little weary. They're a little scared. They want to come in. They want to make you an offer. But you are so powerful, right? You're so powerful. You're so stable. You're so secure. You know, they may feel like they don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. They're feeling a little bit like they won't be accepted because I can just, this is what I, this is what I see. It's like, 
this person has found their power. They found their strength. They're fa they've found their um, they've woken up. They've woken up. And now we have this this man that. is wondering if he can meet those expectations. He's not sure. He's not sure if he that he can make or meet the expectations that you have set. It looks like the time is divine timing is at work here with this temperance card. Somebody has been through a period of healing, and this is for you, for sure. You have been through a period of healing, but, you know, both people have with the lover's card right above it. Two people have been through a period of healing, and now the time has come for these two people to come together. Now, the lover's card usually, to me, signifies that this is not who you think it is, okay? It's not who you think it is. It's usually somebody different with the lover's card. It's like you think the one is the one, but the one isn't the one, and somebody else is the one. Okay? So be prepared to run into somebody or connect with somebody that is not your usual type, that you didn't expect to fall in love with, but you do fall in love with. Okay? Because that's what this looks like. It looks like... Whoever this person is that is coming into your life is going to absolutely bring some balance to your life and they're going to help you to heal. You're going to help each other to heal because I think the man in this dynamic is feeling like he probably isn't good enough, okay? He probably feels like he isn't good enough for you and because you're so strong, because you're so wise, because you are so assertive and... You know, I think that you have a person here that may be a little bit intimidated by your forthrightness, okay? Uh, but they're attracted to it. They are attracted to it. And I fe it feels as though you are now in, headed in a new direction towards victory and success, but you are not going to be doing it alone. It looks like you do have a partnership that is going to... come about unexpectedly. I think this is an unexpected union that is being brought to you from above. I just keep on seeing these angels and it's going to make you extremely happy. And it's because you have come back into your own and decided to let your guard down after some sort of horrendous pain. So, you know, I wanted to... Um, get one of these. I'm going to put it on here and see what this one has to say. We're going to get some clarifiers, but I think that we had a man here that had a choice between two women. Okay? We have this man that is in the process of making a decision. Confused. And he may have made the wrong decision and now he's, you know, heading in a new direction. It's like he, he may have invested in a dead-end situation and now he's learned some sort of lesson by investing in this dead-end situation and he's putting himself in the driver's seat and he's headed in your direction but he still feels like I'm not sure. He's very, he is. He's very sure. Now we have the seven and this seven, seven, seven. So this is divinely guided. It absolutely is. Seven, seven, seven. Seven, seven, seven. Interesting. Okay. So we have a divinely guided connection that is coming about because you have taken back your power and, and decided to open up again. Decided to take down, take off some of that armor piece by piece by piece. We have this person that's coming in. They're still a little guarded. And at nighttime especially, this person is thinking about it. It's, night times are when this person really, really thinks about um, how to proceed. And he's going through a lot of uh, emotional confusion right now. What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? 
and and you know he knows that his happiness lies with you whoever this person is whether it's somebody new i feel like somebody has been waiting for that perfect moment that perfect moment to to swoop in and take you by the hand let's get one of these and then we're going to get some clarifiers on those cards Now, that temperance card is about purpose. There's a reason why things happen. There's a reason why things break down and fall apart. Okay, there is. To bring you what you truly deserve. To teach you about patience. To teach you about yourself. So that you can evolve into the person that you're meant to be. Oh, boy. Door to personal healing and happiness. This is where, what I said. This is what has happened for you. You have opened that door. And now because you are finding your own happiness on your own. You have evolved. You have healed. You have allowed the universe and God and angels and everything to help you along this path. You are being given some sort of new opportunity. And this is not your usual type. But this person, whoever it is that they're bringing in, is going to love you for you. They're going to love the skin that you're in. They're not going to judge you by your looks or what happened in the past. There's going to be a mutual understanding between you two. So I do believe that you are going, somebody is thinking about making an offer right now, an offer of love. And you may be even receiving, they may be in the pro, I mean, they're, they're over here, okay? And the lover's card is over here. So right now they're dealing with their own fears. They are, they're feeling like they want this happiness with you, but they, they're, they're scared. They are scared. They're intimidated by you. Um, and they don't want to make the wrong decisions because they don't want to be unrealistic. You know, it's like, I don't know if I can live up to this person's expectations. You know, that's what they're thinking. They're like, I'm not sure if I can, but it looks like whoever this person is, is they are going to master their emotions and they are going to head in your direction. And, you know, somebody could just get right in their vehicle and head, head your way. Um, it's like opposites attract here as well. So you guys, there's definitely opposites. Opposites attract, but it's a perfect match. It's like a, a complimentary. You know, you compliment me, I compliment you. They're very complimentary. Um, there's a beautiful coming together that is divinely guided here. So congratulations. And I think that you opened that door. You opened that door by shedding some of your own armor. Because of the pain that you went through, maybe left you feeling, if you were to turn this over, we have this bitterness. You went through that period of bitterness. You went through that period of anger and resentment. And now you've taken your power back. And you're ready. You're ready to extend what you have to offer should somebody want it. Okay? And there is somebody that wants it. Okay? That's what it looks like to me. Oh, look at this. We have the Empress. It flipped over. The Empress. That's you. Turning your back. Turning your back on what was. This is the period. And it's going to go right here. It is. It's the period where you were becoming you again. That period of growth that you needed to go through to evolve. So I feel like you probably... Look at the roses. I love roses. I posted a thing about roses the other day. I can't remember what it said, but it's about true love. I'm looking for true love. And you come to that realization that true love is where it's at and I will accept nothing less. And I feel like you took this... You took a period of time to, to heal and deal and accept the pain that whoever this was caused 
so that you could release it. And it looks like the, the time of healing has served you very well because now you are back in your element and you're ready. You are. You're ready. You have something solid to offer because you took the time. You took the time to let yourself grow and heal. So congratulations. And we do have somebody that sees that with the Knight of Cups. Somebody sees that you have taken the time to get yourself back. So I think somebody's been watching you. Somebody's been watching you and waiting for you to get right. And it looks like you have gotten right. But I have to remind you that this person is probably not who you think it is. Ooh. Five of Swords. Competition. Competition. There's been a battle. And you may have you may have two people. You may have two people that are vying for you. Definitely. Change of course is on the horizon. Again, opposites. Okay, so, I mean, there is definitely a uh, uh, change of course on the horizon that is bringing you something wonderful. And it's, it's, it's totally opposite of what you had before or what you know. You, there's, this, is, this is exactly the opposite of where you were, put it that way. Opposites, opposites, opposites. So we have a definite opposites attract attraction here. Okay? So that's what this is. So, but it is going to bring you something very, very good with the Wheel of Fortune. It's victory, success, a new chapter. And it looks like you are about to start a new chapter that leads you down a path of good fortune, good luck. Where there's going to be mutual appreciation and teamwork. Mutual respect. Where you guys can learn from each other and are open to learning from each other. So Taurus, I feel like you will probably receive some sort of... This is a destined change. Somebody is headed in your direction. You may receive, this is communication, you're going to receive communication from somebody that they want to come together with you. And it looks as though this is going, in this person, whoever this person is, you guys are a, it is a perfect match, it really is. It's a divine connection that is has been divinely orchestrated to come at this time because you took the time that you needed to heal and work on yourself. You've proven your worth by retreating. I mean, that's what this is. You've proven your worth. You've opened that door to personal healing and happiness by taking a time out. And now you probably have two people, like I said earlier, I think I said it with these, you have two people that are interested. And you're definitely going to have to make a choice. One of these people is a divine connection in which... There's an opportunity for extreme happiness. So we have Gemini, Cancer, Sagittarius. This is Taurus and Libra. Taurus, uh, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But either way, it looks as though somebody is scared to make you an offer, but they're probably going to do it anyway by the looks of things because that's what this is that's what they this is what the angels want. The angels are bringing you together with this perfect match. And this person isn't doesn't fit your physical description of your perfect match, okay? They don't. 
This person is not what they don't look like what you th expect them to look like. What you what you planned your perfect match to look like. No, that this person is not that. This person is your perfect match, but you are being called to look beyond the surface. So I feel like there's there's a, a, a change of events here that is happening that is bringing somebody into your life that huh, is going to work with you, not against you. They're going to love you for who you are. And it's it's being brought to, it's divinely guided with these sevens in this lover's card and the temperance card. It is. It's a divine connection that is being brought to you from above because you did your work. So... When is this going to happen? That's what I would like to know. It is the answer to your prayers with these threes. It is. It's like you're you're you've been praying for this. You've been working on yourself. You've done what you needed to do, and they heard. This is probably going to happen, it could happen suddenly, because this could be a sudden decision to, to make a move. It's when you realize that you have to step out, you have to step out of your armor. I mean, this guy doesn't have any armor on. Right now, this man, or if you're, if you are a woman, this man is thinking about it. He's still thinking. He hasn't taken that step in your direction. He's still thinking about it. He may communicate with you through the internet, which is pretty prominent, right? That's probably the case. He's still thinking about it. But he knows this is love. He knows that this can blossom. This is the Ace of Cups. So we have a man that is, is thinking about love and getting in his vehicle or sending a message because that's a vehicle up there. But either way, it's about love, a new beginning in love. today 13th one three I just happened to see this one and three anyway I don't know where that came from but um right now today today he's thinking about it because today he's thinking and today is the 13th so right now he's still thinking about it But there is going to be a coming together. This is this is a fourteen. This is tomorrow. This is tomorrow. But this is. I think this is. Uh, and it could happen tomorrow. You could receive a message tomorrow with that Knight of Cups. Could the fourteenth? Could be. But this is for mid-November. There's an opportunity for abundance, stability, happiness, 
to have a family with this person. This person may be a little bit older than you. He could even, this guy reminds me of the emperor. It could be an Aries, could be an Aries. But this person um, is very loyal and can take very, very, very good care of you. Very good care of you. He's got money in the bank. He does got money in the bank. Very uh, loyal. Dogs signify loyalty. So you have a man, if you're a woman, you have a man that is coming in that is going to make you an offer and it's going to be an honest, trustworthy offer of love. Now this is for mid-November, so we're not going to put any timeline on. As of today, it's being recorded on the 13th, he is thinking about it. Uh, the 14th, he it may be testing the waters, okay? He may be you know, going up one, one step further or something, you know what I mean? He may be, who knows what he's doing, but, um, he's, he's, he's moving in the right direction with the Wheel of Fortune. The wheel is spinning to bring you love, okay? There's a divine connection here, and when it happens, it's gonna happen quick. Once this person steps over that edge and makes himself known, the love is gonna grow like that. It's going to be on like Donkey Kong. Okay? It is. <laughs> oh boy. There we go. Like I said, it's going to be on like Donkey Kong. It's going to happen. This go like I said when it and I hadn't looked at this card when I said that. I just happened to flip the deck over now. Like I said, when it happens, it's going to happen quick. Quick. Somebody is going to charge. When he does decide to make his move, he's going to fly in and be like, let's go. So um, be prepared to receive some sort of <sighs> love offer that knocks your socks off. And it could lead to something really long-term and stable. Seriously. Long-term. Whoever this person is, they have a lot to offer. And it's brought to you from above. And you're going to have to make a decision. The lover's card is always a decision. You have to make a choice. Do you, and this is a choice as well. Do you, do you, are you, it, can you take the rest of the armor off? You have to make a choice. Do you keep hanging on to the past hurts to the rest of this, this whatever happened? Do you keep hanging or do you really allow this love to grow? Because you are going to receive a genuine, pure offer from somebody who wants to build a happy home with you. But it's going to take compromising and it's going to take working together and it's going to it's going to take mastering your emotions and moving in that new direction without looking back at the past. You've done your work. There's no need to look back. Now you have a new love offer that is brought to you from above because you earned it. Seven. The universe has brought you this connection because it's time. You've healed. You've evolved. You've allowed. You've done your work. You've persevered. You've transcended. Congratulations. Accept the offer. You deserve it. Let's get an angel romance card too. There goes my water. Just for the hell of it. 
Just for the hell of it, somebody's flying in to sweep you off your feet. They're gonna find the courage to do it. This is the car. This that this knight is very courageous. He's gonna find the courage. This person is going to find the courage to swoop in and grab you by the hand. <laughs> Be careful, it could lead to more. Flirt, extend your lighthearted energies energy to others. Do it. But be careful, like I said, it could lead to more. <laughs> there it is. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. It's your turn. I my advice is to let this person love you and trust them. They're brought to you from above. There's no doubt. Talk to you next time. <laughs>